Hi, this is reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, I've already done your cards for Libra, so I've got these here. Okay. So we're going to use these ones first. Um, it's going to be for your Sun, Moon, and Rising, a you versus them reading. Um, will if you, yeah, it'll be the past and the present. So the past will be like the last couple of weeks. Um... Yeah, if you resonate at all, drop me a comment down below, that would be good. And also, like and share this video, helps others see it, helps my channel. And also, subscribe, because that really helps my channel. And, um, yeah, my name's Mel, by the way, and let's begin. So, I'll just give these a couple of... If uh, you resonate more with the person on the other side, you can swap it over, that's fine. And yeah, there's readings for March as well, what's left of March. I've been really slow getting them out this month. Oh, that was flipping, so we're ready. So this is a reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Moon or Rising. Okay, <clears throat> so we'll do the first card, which will be the relationship between you and your person at the moment, you know, um, how it is, how it's going. So we'll do the recent past, which is renewal. So we'll... Oh. In the recent past, there may be uh, you and your person have recently just had a a try again, Been be got back together in the recent past, um, had an assessment of all the facts, time to move in a new direction. So yeah, maybe you've, because there's a family there or three, um, maybe you went back to a family person, somebody you've got a child with, maybe you've gone back in, you know, to somebody from the past, somebody you were with, um, yeah. But the problem with this relationship you're in right now, Libra, is, is the nine of air you're expecting the worst um it's like you've got back with somebody in a family situation but you're actually believing both of you probably that it's not going to work maybe you've done it for the children okay so their thoughts on you libra in the recent past is uh being unable or unwilling to make a decision a stalemate pretending there's no problem so maybe you two have um I've had a few issues in the recent past and this person maybe was a bit unsure whether to let you back in their life. Okay, this, this the next card is um, the page of water, of air, page of water, sorry. So, that could be messages coming in from this person or they, this is what they think about you. It's what they think about you is you wasn't making a decision about the two of you and now they think that Yeah, your relationship is, they're thinking that, they think you think that you want a new start in this relationship, you want it to move to a new stage. Maybe you've got heightened psychic abilities at this time. Um, or they think you have some, maybe they know you've already got psychic abilities. Okay, your thoughts on them is the world card. A job well done. Joy, contentment and gratitude. The path towards enlightenment. Okay, so you think that for them, this new cycle is is everything. It's the world. It's the it's their absolute complete new beginning that they want in the recent past. Very conflicting uh, energies, really. Um, and then you've got the Queen of Fire. So your person could be a fire sign. It could be confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assertive, independence, and creativity. So your person could be. They could be a fire sign. Fire signs normally it's very are very can be very psychic, um, but very independent. Know what they want and go and get it. So you could be thinking that of this person. Um, you could also be thinking this person is you know. You both think very different things. I mean, you, this person on this side comes round to it in the end, but to start off with, they think you're not making a decision. And you think they, you know, are ready to go. Okay, this person's feelings on you in the recent past was a five of fire. 
completing goals, bothersome detail, conflict with others. They almost felt like you thought that they were, it was a bore. It was, it, this whole relationship was a, it took, took your energy up. Okay. Um, but this person's feelings right now are they're falling in love or the regains of a relationship, spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, a new home. So their feelings right now is that they want to have a new beginning. Maybe they want to move in with you. Maybe they have moved in with you. Um, you shouldn't really be watching Tower of Regions if that's the case. But yeah, like is a, it, something has new has begun and it all started there. I see that there. Okay, your feelings on them in the recent past was the star card. Happy times, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path. Yeah, and that's another card of an ending and a new beginning. I think about the only, only sign Libra that's actually had a good reading. Okay, and the next one is your feelings now. It's contentment, peace and abundance, a happy home life, su the successful completion of a project. Maybe you've been working on this for a while, but that's a relationship. That's the beginning of something, you know, really lovely. Okay, their behaviour towards you in the recent past was that they weren't giving up, that they protect that which they've created. They have courage and they believe in themselves. So they were, they were behaving like they were tired, they'd had enough, but they were still looking at the relationship. Okay, uh, right now they're feeling a little bit trapped, or they're acting like they're a little bit trapped. So even though you guys might be getting back together, there's an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. So you probably would notice that about that person. They probably are feeling like, probably are a bit lost in all, maybe, maybe that's, maybe it can make you feel insecure because they feel like they uh, don't know what they want. Okay, your behaviour towards them in the recent past was a need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, waiting for perfect timing. So you were trying to balance yourself out. You were trying to find, you know, moderation. In, you were, yeah, you were getting balance in the situation. You were trying to find your, your happy medium. Okay, and your situation right now, your behaviour right now, is that they could be an unwise choice. Learn what you can from this situ situation and review everybody's motives. So maybe you're behaving like... Um, oh, I think you both, even though you both want to be together, quite obviously, you've both got a lot of um, resistance against this because you're scared. It's a lot of illusions, a lot of... Um, Oh, maybe, maybe even listening to other people in in some ways, but yeah, there's a there's barriers up by both of you. Maybe because you've been together in the past, maybe you really hurt each other. That could be a good a way of explaining it. There's like barriers up that you're protecting yourself. So the first one I'll clarify is a relationship right now is the nine of wands. No, the nine of swords. Sorry, air. Why well, have we got the nine of air? Okay. So we've got the five of wands. Yeah, this relationship's being tested at the moment. Getting back together, being a couple again is being tested. It's being, you're being given a hard time probably. Probably seeing things, things of, um, what do they call it? Triggers where you get, yeah. Triggers where you get like triggered by each other because of what's going on. Why are these tests here? What's? What are these tests for Libra and their person? Okay, yeah, judgment from the past. So you've got a judgment card there. It's angel of the past. Um, yeah, I feel like but basically, and then you've got the Queen of Wands. So you've got the Queen of Wands twice. So you're definitely dealing with a fire sign, I believe. Uh, but yeah. I feel like this person may come forward to you or you go forward to this person, but it's it's definitely someone from your past and it's someone you had probably a family with, someone you've got children with. That's Leo, Aries or Sag, that is. Okay, so we'll clarify their thoughts on you being the page of water. Yeah, I feel like this person thinks you're... I think they 
think you're juggling. They're trying to use their intuition or they feel like you're, yeah, or maybe they feel like you've gone towards somebody new because that's what it was with that page. Um, one more on the Two of Pentacles. Why is it else? Oh. Why have we got the Two of Pentacles? Yeah. They want a transformation in the situation, but they think there's juggling. They feel like maybe you're with somebody already uh, and there needs to be an ending of this. The person they think you could be with could be, even be a Scorpio with that death card there. Let's clarify the Queen of Wands as your thoughts on this person. Why has Libra got the Queen of Wands as their thoughts on the person? Come on, why have Libra got the Queen of Wands? Okay. okay you got the Page of Wands. Um, so, that's having ideas. It's also a fire sign as well. But yeah, it's having new ideas um, about some uncertainty you've had. Maybe a choice you've had to make, Libra, between maybe two people. Just like that, say a little bit. Yeah, maybe you've had a choice to make Libra between two people with that uncertainty and you've been stuck for a while, not not deciding on what you want. Um, and it's a decision between somebody who you think may be your soulmate, maybe, maybe a fire sign. Um, somebody you want to have a partnership, somebody you feel like you can, you know, be really happy with. Um, but this is causing you a lot of stress. Um... Yeah, but you do think of this person over here as if you're wish. So the person from the past, I believe you maybe moved on with somebody or had a little thing with somebody, but you really want to go back to somebody from your past. Um, okay, so for the feelings of Libra's person, we've got the Ace of Water. Why have we got that? Clarify the Ace of Water. Why have we got the Ace of Water? Okay, yeah. They want to have a new beginning in love, but they believe there's something karmic about this. They believe that you need to set yourself free from something karmic, maybe. Yeah, they want to trust you with the Knight of Pentacles there. Because um, this person over here loves you a lot. They want a new beginning. That's twice now that's clarifying that. Um, they want to have success in this with the wild card. Um, yeah, and then you've got the sun over here so that's a leo card uh can't remember what the wild card is but yeah it's happiness this is this the, this person over here thinks that you are their happiness they they want a new cycle they want a new beginning but they believe there's something there that needs to end on your side you've got the four fire so you believe you have restrictions or your feelings are you're keeping yourself restricted maybe you want to, you're, you're finding resolutions to this problem. So maybe you're moving away from something you're in right now with this resolution. One more card on the resolution for Libra. Oh. Yeah. Feeling sad, Dave. Whatever you're moving away from is causing you some sadness as well. Because you've got loss there, you're feeling like at a loss. Or maybe you're feeling like you've lost this person on the right. Why have we got the eight of it as leave this person's behaviour? Okay. Yeah. They're behaving like they're very dedicated to you, this person does. That they want a victory. That they've made a decision and they've, they've, they've taken guidance from above, I believe. They've been guided through this. So I think no matter what you've thrown at them, this person has believed that their abundance is with you, Libra. Um, okay, so why has Libra got the five of a... Uh, yeah. You've got the Knight of Cups, kind of spirituality. Maybe you've taken, gone within. Maybe you've taken a bit of time up, apart from people to... Use your spirituality. Yeah. 
Yeah. There may have been a lot of gossip around your situation as well. Um, yeah, but maybe you, you you want this ten of pentacles. Uh, maybe there was a lot of gossip around this situation on the right as well. Maybe people have talked about it. You want to take action now and move forward with this person. Um, one more card. Yeah, you believe it's a blessing. You believe it's your blessing. Um, at this moment, though, you're still in isolation. You're still keeping yourself to yourself. A few more cards on Libra situation. Yeah, trying to keep control. And the Six of Pentacles given to two. Yeah, generosity. Um, I feel like you're not quite out of situation yet, Libra. How will Libra deal with the situation they're in right now yeah using your wisdom taking your empress status maybe having to man up a little bit or woman up <laughs> yeah having to use your integrity as well having to choose what you want uh having a lot of determination situation you've got the nine of ones over there as well um how will even move towards this person on the right yeah, having to have an ending first. Um, wanting freedom from this situation that you're trying to end. Believing that you're going towards your destiny. Um, your dreams. Uh, and wanting independence. Cutting all this relationship out so you can move forward to the right. Um, I use some of my psychic tarot. Okay, what... What, how will Libra move towards this person? When they've cut themselves free. How will Libra move towards this person when they cut themselves free? Yeah, they I feel like you're gonna go forward and say you've had emotional withdrawal from from them. Um you've made sacrifices and let go of things you had to. Yeah. Taking time in solitude to hermit card. Uh, and wanting triumph and success. Maybe even knowing you're gonna have to bring down a tower moment before you can uh put it back up. How will this person Move towards Libra, if at all. Okay. Yeah, they believe you're their person. They've said that all the way through. Um, this person is thinking of moving on, though, Libra. So, whatever you're doing, yeah. And they've got deception and envy. They feel deception and envy. They feel like you've deceived them. Um, and they want recognition and reward in this situation. This person feels done by by you. They feel like they feel like they've been watching you as well, Libra. They've kind of turned their back on you and walking away, maybe, even though they think it's divine. Wanting to move on, but they feel they feel hard done by that person. Looks pissed, don't they? They look fed up. They look like you know, f this situation. I'm done. You know, day's done. Um, yeah. Yeah, the the Empress card. Um yeah, I feel like this person could even be the mother of your children. Um, but they feel like you've hurt them. They're trying to get the base chakra, trying to heal their base, probably even trying to like mend their foundation. They feel like this is a spiritual union. This person feels that this relationship with you is really strong, but I feel like they're moving away because you've not shown them anything. To say otherwise that you you want anything more. And I don't feel like you've completely let go of the situation. Maybe you thought you could have your cake and eat it. Like, oh. Sorry. Sorry, Libra. Um, yeah. Have a Libra and this person move forward, if at all. I think it could be the, the 
the mother of your children or or the father of your children yeah They're, you both kind of want an ending and a new beginning but i don't feel like you're telling each other okay yeah you want a positive move forward together you want love to begin using your power using your using your as a leo card as well that is could be a leo in this i've seen leo a few times but there's lots of different signs in here uh opening up your heart chakra bringing forward those memories of love like like still holding that one there's all that love in that in them with them candles but there's only one you're holding in your hand so maybe that's you know the one that's meant to be uh Right, we'll do some oracle cards and some other little cards that we've got. Um, okay. Yeah, you need to say I love you. Say I love you. Otherwise, it could be a lifetime of sad sadness. This is a genuine human connection between you and this person. You truly like this genuine. You love each other. Right, I'll read one of these. So we'll do a angel therapy. Um, one card for Libra. From the angel family. Does Libra need to know? Oh. Cut your cords, Libra, with people that no longer serve you, maybe. Yeah, you drew this card because ne negati uh, negativity connected to a past relationship is interfering with the situation you inquired about. Fortunately, this toxic energy can be vanished with the help of Archangel Michael, the powerful angel who releases you from the effects of fear. Anytime you and your partner experience fear within your relationship, a cord similar to a leash made out of hollow tubing is attached to both of you. You may have cords, most people do, connecting you to your parents, living or deceased, siblings, lovers, those whom you've helped, such as students or clients, and anyone with whom you shared a significant relationship. Cords are nothing to be afraid or ashamed of. They just need to be cut, as they can drain your energy and the culprit behind physical pain. Okay, so I'll do a moon card. It's one card for Libra. Okay, so we got got... Uh, New moon in Taurus, prosperity lies ahead. So there could be money ahead for you, Libra. Financially, you could be coming into something. Truth, I live in my truth. You need to speak your truth, Libra, about what happened to this person on the right as well. Or they need to do that to you. To move forward happily okay so you've got the turquoise latest mother i'll read that one too number 42 okay so there are some lessons in our process of spiritual growth that are cut right to the core of our being the challenge us so deeply that even as we learn the lesson and practice the wisdom we can struggle to outgrow the grip of the pattern no matter how hard we try we might feel that we are ever going to be able to completely release the challenge and no matter how much we grow there is still a thread of the past that hangs on we need a spiritual rescue remedy if we ever we are ever to be free of the clutches of the persistent pain the compassionate and spiritual spiritually powerful nature of mackinian as the turquoise lotus mother seeks to bless you with karma healing so that you may be lifted from your struggle and can simply leave them behind you now your soul has learned what it's needed from the situation and it has asked for divine hang, hang up so it might continue on its divine path of growth without unnecessary karmic weight pulling it down. Listen to your guidance now. Notice if you feel inspired to visit a healer. Listen repeatedly to a particular healing music. Go to a class or meditate at home at a particular time or just more often. So you need to get down with your, um, with your own self, Libra. You need to to heal yourself within 
and you need to let go of things you don't really want anymore and you know you don't want what you don't want and what you do want um but you need to release it and stop hanging on anyway i'm going to leave this here and uh, i hope it's okay and lots of love and take care and i'll see you soon bye libra bye